So today we're going to be talking about exercise, right? No, no, it's rest. It's rest in the screen, see? It's, we're going to rest. We're going to talk about rest. Why is rest so important? In the lecture, I go through all of these different uh, items in here. I have selectively kept only one of them. But rest is important because it produces better productivity and concentration. It lowers your weight gain risk. Did you know that? It has a better calorie regulation. Um, it has greater athletic performance, lowers your risk of heart disease, heart attacks, any of those stuff. It lowers your uh, factor for inflammation, and it gives you a stronger immune system. So we're going to look at some of these here. Better productivity and concentrations. It tells us that uh, sleep affects the brain functions in, in the areas of concentration, productivity, and condition. Now, this is a part that I wanted to bring here, and very important for our youngsters. This is why mom says you need to go to sleep early. Because if you don't, you will be like an owl next day. So that's the deal. If you don't go to sleep early, your brain cannot reorganize and rest. And next day, you're like, oh? Yeah, exactly. So when you go to sleep early, you get better uh, function of your brain. And that's not only for the youngsters, but for all of us. Ideally, you want to get eight hours of sleep, and you want to go to sleep early. We're going to see that in a moment. It, is, it has better calorie regulation. Oh, this is the loveliness of God's work. It tells us that there is evidence that when you get a good night's sleep, it helps a person consume more calories the next day. No, less calories the next day. Yeah, that's right. Um, and it tells you that it, it affects the pattern of sleeping well. It affects your hormones. So ladies, if you want to have more hormonally balanced life, just go to sleep early. It will be a blessing for you. When a person does not sleep enough, sleep enough, it can interfere with the body's ability to regulate their food intake. Uh, any of you have heard the term of comfort foods? You know why you comfort with the food? Well, because you're trying to cope with something. And so instead of getting enough sleep, you might solve it with you know, self-medicating yourself food. But that's not the idea. The idea is go to sleep early and rest. You will be blessed. It has a lower risk of heart disease. Um, and this was get shown for the CDC that getting adequate rest each night allows the body's blood pressure to, what does it say? Regulate, regulate by the next leading drug. What does the CDC say? It regulates, what's the word? Yes. Itself, that's right. By the mechanisms that God has given us. Doing so can reduce the chance of sleep-related conditions, such as apnea, and promote better health overall for your heart, which is something that I'm sure we all want. Have you ever considered why nurses sometimes just, like, don't care? Well, that's because when you are in lack of sleep, you just don't care. Uh, that's just simple. It's a, it's, a, it's a side effect of not having enough sleep. It happens with nurses, it happens with doctors, it happens with anybody who sleeps, who does not have a, slow, a regular sleep pattern. It has been shown by your clinical studies that when you don't have enough sleep, you do not have the same ability to show empathy. It's just that simple. So they see so much trauma, they see so much things going on that, that at some point they're just... You know, sometimes I have, I have family uh, members who are uh, work in the emergency room and they're just telling stories and my heart is just like melting and they're like, yeah, yeah, and then we moved on to have lunch. I'm like, oh, I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's just you get to a point where it just doesn't reach you and that's because you do not have the same level to show empathy when you don't get enough sleep. So... Uh, better prevention of depression. There is the medical study from JAMA who shows that when you lack sleep, this will make you depressive. Okay? It's just that simple, friends. So, better to get your sleep. Lower inflammation. I'm running out of time now, so we're going to have to kind of go through this. Uh, but when you, when you have adequate rest, your bowel is able to have less inflammation, which will then lead to a stronger immune system. And you will be absolutely blessed to have that. And of course, I had to throw that one in there. you got to do that exercise, friends. When you have enough sleep, it 
helps your body to fight off infection. By the way, how many free radicals do you produce a day? Anybody? Throw a number out there. Millions? Well, man, you're really bad on your immune system. Not, not millions. They might be. No, it is in the thousands, estimates. What do you think? 1,000, 2,000, or 3,000? Anybody? 1,000? 10,000 free radicals per day. And you know whose job is to eradicate those? Your immune system's jobs. That's right. And if those free, radic free radicals concentrate on an organ and they become out of control, we call that? Which normally leads to? Cancer. That's right. That's what we call cancer. So friends, I want to encourage you to have adequate sleep. Practical ways of how to do this real quick. Well, you got to get your eight hours. There is a period of sleep called the REM period of sleep from 8 p.m. to 12 p.m. No, it's not from 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. No, no, it's from 8 p.m. to 12 p.m. This is why every hour in that range is counts as double. And I'm showing the clinical research there and the literature behind it so you understand that I'm not just bluffing it. It is very important you go to sleep early. Go to sleep early and wake up early. Jesus was found asleep. I'm sorry, I sleep. Jesus found awake when in the morning? Early in the morning. How do we know it was early in the morning? Because the sun had not what? Risen. That's right. He welcomed the rising of the sun as he was worshiping God. And so I encourage you to follow the example of Jesus. Having good night's sleep, having a wind down routine to make sure you have your worship. Turn off those evil phones. Yes. From 6.30 onward, no more blue screen for you. It is evil. It really is. I'm serious. It is evil. Do your research. You'll find out what I mean. Um, make sure you express your gratitude toward God. And above all things, make sure you go to sleep with a clear conscience.